Hi guys, today I'm taking you on a tour of one of the Vladivostok's residential districts. Let's go and find out what the life of Russian people looks like today. What caught my attention here is this patriotic entrance to the streetcar park. What's behind me over here is one of the most famous types of Russian residential buildings which were popular starting from 70s until 90s. But today I want to show you guys how our modern houses in Russia look like. This district has been expanded recently with those modern houses. And I will take you further over there to show you new district. I need to hike in order to get there. Here you can see how old meets new. By the way, this house behind me is only 20 years old, it's not old at all, but because of this typical materials, they build it with, it doesn't look modern. If you will look at the cars, you can mention that almost all cars are Japanese here. Okay, here we are so nice to film here because streets are empty those modern houses are more than twice as high as our typical gray old ones these houses have already a lot of tenancies and the rest of them they still have a lot of empty flats and I can see a lot of construction is going on inside it's kind of family friendly and a bit empty vibes you can see some families and children going around. Usually residential apartments would have some infrastructure on the first level of them, like cafes and shops. In Russia, it's not usually like that. Usually our residential houses are just for flats. These buildings are the same, although I can see some shops already open over here. Here is Wildberries pickup point. It's the office of one of the most famous clothing online stores in Russia. Here is a small mini market that sells some basic foods and drinks. Usually that mini markets are very tiny but they packed with food it's like a mini version of supermarket where you can find anything we got their russian mineral water which is really good for your health and it's been made in our primorsky cry region those walls here because we are on a hill and this district is basically in the end of the mountain that's why there are so many levels here. I finally reached the end of this district. As you can see, pretty much all houses look the same here. Now I want to speak about price of the apartments here. Just now I googled and I find out that one bedroom apartment will cost from 5 million to 7 million rubles, which approximately is 62 to 87 thousand US dollars. Would you buy it for this kind of price? It's almost the end of the town over here because from this side you can see the end of everything, just forest and the view of one of the Vladivostok's power stations. Long time ago this power station worked on the coal and the air here was just so disgusting because of the burning coal. But good news, recently it's been changed to gas. 
so the air now is very clean ecological situation was not good at all because of the wind if the wind direction was to this side to the city side it would bring everything to us and we would breathe it but now it's better In my opinion I wouldn't like to live here although houses looks fine but it doesn't have any good infrastructure here such as big supermarkets places to go out it's just a remote district in Vladivostok and to get here you basically need a car and it's a bit far from public transport the reason why I wouldn't live here is the wind and the weather I imagine it's been winter here and it would freeze because the wind and the mountains and the snow I can imagine how cold is it here during the winter Vladivostok realities is the middle of May now and the weather is plus 13 degrees and the wind it's a season of dandelions in Vladivostok and in Russia we think that you have to pick a dandelion and make a wish and then blow and if dandelion is naked then your wish will come true so let's try oh no my wish will not come true unfortunately This was my Russian residential district tour and guys I hope this video was interesting for you. Let me down your thoughts in the comments below and of course guys I will see you in my next vlogs. Bye bye!